video screen recorder and video editor now let's go into it just click on your windows logo here you don't need to install it once you install your windows it is going to be installed with it automatically just go to your clip sharp video editor that's the name of the app you're going to be using click on clip sharp editor so it is starting up so once it starts off this is the 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 app i use this app a lot uh, as you can see here you can see screen and camera you can see camera alone you can see screen here this is where you can create a folder this is where you can brand your kit and this is where you can use uh, let me navigate you through this is a template uh, on which uh, video you can actually use for yourself this is a brand kit where you can actually start your own branded kit here and this is uh, the home page where you can use uh, start with the template YouTube gaming Instagram and every other social media website you might actually think of and how to use it effectively even for Facebook ad and so on so now let's go into screen recording you can just do it like this click on the screen and camera this actually includes if you want to yourself to show uh the, the, what's it called you, you are going to show down here i'm going to show down here you can increase this by clicking on this minimize it also so you can just click on the record button and it will record everything for you and you can actually choose your camera here the type of camera you are using Maybe external or external camera you can the webcam also. Just click on this red button to start recording. Also, if you want to um, start to home, if you want to record your screen uh, camera alone, this is what you use. If you want to record your screen alone, this is also what you use. Now, what of you actually have your video already and you just want to uh, edit it also just click on create a video here it's going to take you to a page that looks like uh, adobe Premiere pro here yeah? just click on this plus button once you click on the plus button it's going to show you a uh, page like this just click on browse files you can actually import any video you want to you want to uh, edit let's say I want to edit this uh, let me find a video to edit now let's say I want to edit this video now so it's loading you can also add audio too through the same process So I've also added the audio, just click on the video and drag it to this uh, video here, as you can see. And so there might be a time and time that bring the options of your system, that can put that up to your system, so you get it, and you'll be able to, then you can start the process of your editing. This is also the audio, I can just drag the audio and put it here down beneath the video and expand it to whichever length I actually want and if it is not if the video is actually longer than the audio you can just right click on it and just open press control G to extend the videos now as you can see here you can see all here you can see your video here you can see your audio here you can see your image here if you insert any image you can also insert an image by pressing this also so uh, this is record and create this is another template where you can actually choose from every template you actually want to use to edit your video this is music this is stock video or so this is stock images anyone you want this is text if you want to include text in your editing process and this is graphics auto also 
like now. If I actually cut this video here, let me just cut and split the video here. If I split the video now here, so the part at which it is going to be played here, so we are to get the video together. We're going to cut transition. So when I click on transition, it is going to bring a lot of options here by the right hand corner here. Where I can actually choose the type of can see the audio the filters if you want to use any filter you can actually use it here this is also free this is where you can actually adjust your color this is where you can adjust the speed of your video your transitions your color and so on and so forth here so this is where you can actually do that And this is the split screen, which is S. Uh, if you want to do any part, and if you want to do any part, this is what you are going to do. What you are going to do. So let's go back. your video and you want to actually export the video this is where you go just click on export and you can actually use uh, any format you want to use maybe and you see now your video will be imported you will export rather as an mp4 file which is a video file if you want 480p or you want 720p or you want 1080p which is added or GIS, you can actually choose from this range. I want to click on export. Now, let me choose this particular one now. export 1080p. So, it's going to take 